Hi folks, hope you're all well. I'm out in the New Forest again today. Uh, yeah, it, it's uh, about three quarters of the way through January and um, we had our first snow uh, last night down here in the New Forest. Uh, we, we quite often don't get that much snow in the winter, so yeah, first snow of the winter, almost the end of January, how about that? But yeah, it, uh, it didn't settle. Um, you probably saw, in fact, you can see behind me some of this, some of this white stuff on here is, is what, what's left of it, but that's only because it's in the shade, most of it. Most of it just melted straight away, basically. So, uh, yeah, it's all quite wet out here at the moment because it's all, uh, it's all just turned back into water. So <laughs> it's a nice day though, not too bad. Nice and sunny, nice and clear, a bit cold. I think it's about one degree centigrade at the moment. But yeah, not a bad day. Well, in this video, I'm going to be making some uh, homemade mushroom soup. Never made it before, so um, it's a made up recipe. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Right, let's get started. Gonna use my uh, trusty little pot. So first thing to go in is gonna be some butter. Get that melting on there. So the main ingredients for this soup, you'll be surprised to hear, is mushrooms because it's mushroom soup. So in here I've got uh, these are dried mushrooms. I've also got some um, dried onion in there. Uh, there's also some herbs, which is uh, oregano herb. Uh, there's some uh, dried uh, garlic and uh, some salt. I think, yeah, that's a lot. So that's what's gonna go in there next. Okay, so the butter's melting away. Let's get the, uh, get the mushrooms in there. Most of them went in there. <laughs> a little bit wet on the forest floor, but I'm sure that's okay. Give something to ponies to eat. Okay, that's all doing well. I think I'll uh, get some water in there now. Yeah, these are, uh, obviously the mushrooms are dried, so at the moment, if I was to eat them now, they'd be rock hard. And uh, same with the, uh, the onions, in a way, because they're, they're dry as well, but mostly I need to soften up. I need to heat it up, obviously, and I want to uh, soften up those mushrooms. They're boiling a bit too much. I think I better turn them down a bit. That's better. Any of you are used to uh, cooking with a trained ear, you'll know that there's only two settings, which is basically blasting away like a, a lunatic or, uh, or a bit less than that with the simmering on. So um, 
I always find that to start with, because the thing, the Trangia doesn't, it takes a while to sort of heat up really, so I quite often find that to start with, I, I run it without the uh, simmering on, and then all of a sudden you realise it's going absolutely mad, so then you have to get the simmering on. So it should be fine now, it'll just, uh, it'll just gently simmer, so <laughs> clues in the name, mate. Yeah, works well, I like it. Okay, let's take a look. And there it is simmering away, you see that? Look at that, perfect. That's all controlled now. Right, so let's look in, let's have a look. So when I stir it, I can feel that the uh, mushrooms are soft now, they're not all kind of like rock hard. Let's uh, maybe get one out and uh, have a go. Yeah, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Cool. Right, so um, that's not all the ingredients for uh, for my made up recipe, so that's most of the ingredients there, and I think that's probably getting there really but i noticed that um quite a lot of people when they make uh when they make soup soup like this especially they put uh sherry in it i'm not really sure why i think it just adds to the flavor but unfortunately i don't have any sherry because i don't really carry sherry around with me when i'm out walking but what i do have is this look at that so it's kind of like sherry in a way and uh, it's uh it's alcoholic but it's actually uh it's actually whiskey from kentucky so uh yeah same sort of thing really isn't it so i'll have a spot of that in there i think it's how important anyway to uh, warm you up in it oh hey, that'll do i think a bit more gone gotta be a bit careful because i don't want to put it in too early because obviously the alcohol will, uh, will all boil off and we wouldn't want that would be hey all right well i think we're pretty much there now so um there is one final ingredient which i was a bit dubious about bringing because of uh spillage issues so look at that, that is good old English double cream. How about that? So yeah, I managed to get it all out this way, out of this walk in there without spilling anywhere, so that's good. So this is actually, uh, and I like to quote, this is cream of mushroom. I always think that's a strange thing to say, cream of mushroom, isn't it? I mean, mushrooms, you can't milk a mushroom, can you? But anyway, right, let's see how this goes. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to take it off the heat to put this in. Let's have a go. Oh, there we go, look at that. Changing the whole nature of the dish to something that looks like it's curdled. Oh no, that's okay, I think that's okay. So yeah, look at that. Cream of mushroom soup, folks, how about that? I'm sure it will taste absolutely amazing. Let's give it a go. All right then, there it is. Oh, that smells good, it smells very good. Let's give it a taste. Ooh, big lumps of uh, mushroom. It's hot. It's hot. That's a good thing, I suppose. It's hot. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's very nice actually. Mm. Yeah, very good. That should see me right. Warm the cockles and all that. Mm. Yeah, disappointingly, doesn't taste much of. Uh, and whiskey. I obviously didn't put enough in. There's a lesson there. Always put more alcohol in, right? Oh well, I shall probably uh, leave this one here. Uh, as usual, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber and you um, fancy watching some more of this sort of stuff, then uh, hit the uh, red button down there. And then you'll uh, and make sure you uh, click the, the bell thing so you get notifications of uh, when I put some more out. Other than that, look after yourselves folks and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.